This is a uh, pair of pocket wizards. The the one on the right uh, I've already talked about. It's I'm sure you've probably seen them around. They're called a pocket wizard plus two. They're they're old, uh, but they work really well. The one on the left is one of its predecessors, and uh, if you look in the the labeling or the the model for it, it's actually called the pocket wizard by a company called LPA Design. So it is, uh, I think I paid $15 for it. And it, it works, and it works really well, uh, but it's very minimalist. You know, you select the channels, and in this case, I'm gonna go from channels one to four because that's what I have on the, uh, the plus two transceiver. And uh, it takes two AA batteries. Uh, it has a 3.5 millimeter jack and identical to the jack that you would find on the other plus two pocket wizard. So, you know, the cable you're going to use there is going to be 3.5 millimeter um, a mono cable versus stereo. Uh, that, that goes for the plus two as well. Um, and it's got a good range. I just, for fun, I tried it out the other night. Uh, I had a strobe in my home and I was able to go several homes away. Uh, outside and it would it still fired through uh, from the outside into the inside so easily would cover a basketball stadium or a hockey arena um, and that's what these things did that's how they got their start um, so I'll leave a link in the description below but a college student by the name of James Clark uh, probably late 80s early 90s he was at the University of Vermont and for his senior project he was working on a radio trigger that was used for a sonar ranging system. So from there, uh, another photographer heard about it and wanted to know if it could be adapted to wirelessly trigger flashes. And from there, somehow he got connected to sports photographers who were doing work with the NBA. And once that happened, things moved pretty quickly and the company got started and you know, they got seed money and, you know, they they grew and grew quickly and they were, they were really a revolutionary type of technology for sports photography. So uh, the article will talk about how they use these for NBA games, not only to trigger the strobes, but, um, but to remotely trigger other cameras. And uh, the, the story they're going to talk about was, I think, the last shot that Michael Jordan took. Uh, as a professional basketball player. So it's kind of interesting if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, but I'll just tell you that it works. It works really well. It's really inexpensive. Uh, not the easiest thing to connect to a monoblock or uh, a pack, but mine came with a large chunk of Velcro on the back, so it could be slapped to the side of uh, you know, Velcro on a monoblock or Velcro that you might have on a pack. Um, and yeah, big fan of it, and really uh, kind of interesting backstory in terms of how the company got started.